What's going on everybody? This is Rob here with another RM Tech tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to back up and restore a MySQL database. In this tutorial I'm using MySQL 8 but this method will work for all older versions as well. So without further ado, stay tuned and I'll show you how to get this done. If for some reason you're not sure of the name of the database that you need to back up, the way you can figure that out is by opening up the MySQL command line, logging in, and then type the following command. Type show databases with a semicolon at the end, press enter, and then a list of databases will appear, uh, and then you can choose the appropriate database from there. In this tutorial, we're going to be backing up the database named test. The next step is to navigate to the Windows command prompt. But before we're able to do anything, we need to make sure that we're in the right directory that contains the executables that we need. And the best way to accomplish that is to pop open Windows Explorer, navigate to your MySQL installation folder, and then open up the bin directory Copy that path at the very top, and then go back to the command prompt, type in cd for change directory, space, and then paste that directory in there and press enter, and then you will then be in the appropriate directory that you need to be in to run the following commands. So the command you need to type in to back up the database is the following. My SQL dump dash u and then type your username which is more than likely going to be root unless you have changed it it is root in this example and then dash p then type the database name which is going to be test in this example and then the arrow needs to be pointing towards the right to basically say the database is going to be going to the backup file and then we type in our backup file uh, it can be anything you want and in this example it's going to be test underscore backup and then make sure it has a dot sql extension and then press enter and then you will be prompted for the password for the account that you entered into the context of this uh, command uh, type in the password press enter and then the database will begin to back up the default location that is going to back the database up to is the directory that we are currently in right now the bin directory that contains the SQL um, executable files so before I restore the database what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over to the MySQL command line and I'm going to I'm going to open up the database and then show you the tables that should be in the database so you can see what to expect once we restore it. And then I'm going to delete the database and then recreate it with the same name. And um, it will be a blank database at that point. And then uh, move on to restore the database and then show you how the tables have populated after the restore uh, to show that it's been successful. So just a note before we move on to the next step, the database must exist before you restore it. MySQL will not create a new database if it doesn't exist prior. Now, the name doesn't matter. It can be any name. We can point it to any name when we go to restore it. And as long as it exists, it's fine. But you need to make sure 
that you either create it first or if the database already exists regardless if it's become corrupted or not it's always a good idea to just uh, delete the database first recreate it and then restore it from your backup and you can do that by uh, opening up the MySQL command line like I just did a little bit earlier and type drop database database name and then a semicolon so now that we have our clean database I'm going to show you how to restore it so the command you want to type to restore your database is the following you want to type my SQL no dump on this one just my SQL dash u the username which again is most likely going to be root unless you have changed it dash p and then the database name which uh, in this example is going to be test but like I said earlier it can be any name as long as the database already exists in MySQL uh, so go ahead and type that and then this time the arrow is going, going to be pointed towards the left to indicate that the um, the data is going to be coming from the backup file and then back into the database and then of course the database name which again in this example is test underscore backup dot SQL and then go ahead and type in the password and the database will begin to restore and it looks like they're all there so that means it looks like that the backup and the restore operation were successful of course you won't always know until you run the application that relies on the database but if you uh, performed a restore and all of your tables look like they're there and the number of rows from the previous number of rows match up uh, chances are you're looking pretty good and you're probably good to go now this is probably going to be extremely obvious to most people especially if you're working with uh, MySQL databases etc but um, just as another note uh, you do not have to stick with the uh, default directory when you back up your database so um, if you type the uh, desired path in before the backup file name that you prefer uh, for example, if I want to um, if I want to put my backup file on the desktop and I'm logged in as the administrator, which I am right now, um, I would type um, C drive um, users administrator and then desktop and then the name of my backup file. And as you can see, it has, uh, populated on my desktop and then depending on of course another obvious thing but I'm just putting it out there for all sorts of different people that uh, may have different backgrounds uh, on computers uh, maybe somebody trying to learn uh, that's a beginner um, another thing is when you go to back up the I'm sorry when you go to restore the database if it is in a different location than the directory that contains the executables like MySQL and MySQL dump, then you will also have to put the path in, uh, the full path that the backup file resides in when you go to restore the database as well. All right, that is it. If you followed this tutorial all the way through, you should be good to go. If you found this video helpful, please don't hesitate to like, comment, share, subscribe, all those good things. I appreciate it. If you need additional help, I've left a link to contact me in the description below. And while you're at it, if you have a free moment, don't hesitate to check out the website, which is www.rmtechcentral.com. My name is Rob. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.